Hey, welcome back here to Carolina Historical Park in Dayton, Ohio. We've had a lot of rain this week in Dayton, but those of us in Dayton can rest assured that the river will only rise as high as we allow it to, thanks to the leadership of John Patterson, Arthur Morgan, and Carolina Park founder, Edward A. Deeds. Now see this gently curving levee that protects Carillon Park? It's not natural. This levee, along with five dry dams north of town, were the creation of the Miami Conservancy District. Dayton's system of dams and levees is a historic civil engineering landmark. And here at Carillon Historical Park, we tell you exactly how they work. And we've put this animation together to show you. Take a look. Like many cities around the country, Dayton was built along a series of waterways. These rivers are what allowed business, transportation, and commerce to flourish in this region. Dayton is also located where these waterways converge. The Stillwater River from the north, the Mad River from the east, and Wolf Creek from the west all terminate into the much larger Great Miami River as it makes an S-curve through Dayton. But with all of the benefits that these water systems provide, there is also a danger. What happens if a very large rainfall sends so much water into the rivers that the riverbanks can't contain it? And where does all of the excess water go? In 1913, a heavy rainstorm occurred, lasting several days. So much rain fell that the ground was unable to absorb it, causing large amounts of rainwater to run off into our surrounding rivers and creeks. As the converging rivers filled up beyond their capacity, they started to overflow in the low-lying areas around downtown Dayton, and the city began to flood. The water was moving with so much force and volume that downtown filled with as much as 20 feet of water in less than one day, covering our streets, flooding buildings, and sweeping away homes. Before it was over, much of Dayton was underwater. To ensure that our city would never flood again, the Miami Conservancy District built levees in the cities and five large dams throughout the region, named Germantown, Inglewood, Lockington, Taylorsville, and Huffman. These dams were designed to regulate the amount of water that flows through them and into the city. Today, if our region experiences another massive rainfall, these dams work to prevent an overabundance of water from rushing downstream by restricting the amount of water that can flow into the river. With the dams in place, the additional water backs up onto designated land, such as parks and farmland, where it is held until all the excess water can safely flow through at a controlled rate. This is what prevents our city from flooding today, thanks to the vision, planning, and effort of the Miami Conservancy District. Can you believe that Colonel Deeds even had them test aspects of the system in his own personal swimming pool? Well, the next time you visit, you can explore the flood, the recovery, and the building of the dams here at Carillon Historical Park in Dayton, Ohio. Take care. <laughs>